Hey everyone and welcome to my new tutorial for phototoots.com and I want to say thank you for all of you for all the great comments and for all the great suggestions in the last video because your opinion is very very important for me. Thank you. Today I'm going to show you uh, uh, some really cool techniques to work with sunset images. This is a normal image uh, with a camera with normal camera settings um, and this is the added image. As you can see, this edited image has much, much more warm colors and in my opinion, it looks much better, much more beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, open the Adobe Bridge, select the image that you want, so the original image, press Command or in Windows Control D to duplicate image, so to save the original, and press Command R to open this original image with Camera Raw. Um, so, this tutorial has uh, three, big step, uh, three big steps and each one composed with, uh, by some sub-steps. So let's get started, so let's get started the first. The first step uh, is to apply some general effects. So apply effects for all the image, for all the areas of the image. And the first step is increase the temperature a little bit. So here, in a basic, uh, in a basic editing mode, increase the temperature for about 5D. Okay, now let's apply a little touch of pink tint. Let's apply 5. Mm, okay, 5 looks very nice. Now, let's increase the recovery to reduce some uh, overexposed areas. And for recovery, okay, 5D%. Not percent, but anyway, 5T uh, looks very, very nice. And let's increase the fill light to increase some light areas to create a very nice contrast in the image. And for the fill light, I want to work with 25. Okay. Now uh, increase the clarity uh, to increase some um, the detail without affecting the colors like the contrast does. So here the bottom uh, increase the d increase the clarity for about 60 and to, inc to get more warm colors increase the vibrance to 20 okay now this is the um, the first big step and let's move for the second big step where we going to work uh, each part each part of the image individually to get some individually effects. So, to do this, go to the top of the of the camera raw and here select the adjustment brush. Uh, I don't know if you know this tool or not, but this tool is very very helpful. Uh, here you have three options, new, add and erase. Uh, let's select new and here you have many settings you can and you can adjust all of them. For example, if you want to increase the exposure in the same area and increase the saturation and the clarity and the sharpness as well. Okay, adjust the settings, adjust the, the brush settings as well and paint over the area you want. For example, here on the beach. And as you can see, um, Karen Rock created a new point and this is the, ed and this is the editing point. For example, if you want to edit the values, so the effect in this part of the image, you just need to select the point <coughs> and change the, the values here on the on the right side, which is very very helpful because you don't need paint again to apply a, a, another effect. So it's very very nice. If you want to see uh, the mask, so the area that these effects uh, affects, you just need to click here, show mask show the area uh, where, uh, where the effect is visible. Uh, if you want to see the, the pins, you just need to uh, turn on this option or off if you want uh, if you don't want to see the pins. So let's delete this pin okay and let's get started. So the first area the very the, the first uh, very important area to work is the skyline uh, which I want to uh, which I want to increase the saturation and some clarity here. So, 
hearing exposures uh, set to zero, brightness set to zero as well, contrast, then saturation 30 and clarity 100%. Okay, now sharpness zero. Okay, perfect. Now you can add a color. For example, if you want uh, to add a blue color, slight blue. If you want to uh, add a red color, slight red. But for this effect, I don't want to work with this tool. But sometimes it's very, very helpful. Now let's uh, adjust uh, the brush settings. Density 100, okay, flow 50%. Okay, it looks very, very nice. Let's reduce a little bit the, the brush size and paint over the skyline. Okay, as you can see, Camera Raw created a new, uh, a new, uh, a new point. So, before and after, before and after, it looks great. But if you want uh, just settings, for example, if you want uh, increase the saturation, you, s you just need increase the saturation point here, and you don't need to paint again. Okay, so don't worry. Now let's work. Uh, um, let's work in a little bit on the C and ear on the rocks. So for this part of the image, I want to create, I want to increase the contrast, the saturation, the, clar the clarity and the sharpness. So here, select new to create a new point. It's very po important because uh, now I have the this point, so the skyline point selected and to work in other area of the image, I need to select new. It's very, very important to not uh, change the, the effect here. So, <coughs> contrast 10, okay, saturation 50, clarity 100 and sharpness 20. And again, I don't want to wor work with any color and the size, okay, the size looks very nice. Okay, and now paint over the sea and the rocks. Okay, before and after, before and after, great. Let's see the mask. Mm, okay, very nice. Now, uh, the third point is to work with the first plan here and the second plan. And for this point, I want to work with the contrast and then Okay, 10. Saturation, 10. Clarity, 20. <coughs> Sharpness, 30. And increase a little bit of the exposure for about 0, 0,5D. Okay, increase the brush size. And feather a little bit as well. Let's paint in this area. Here's a little bit of the exposure. Okay, and it looks very, very nice. And finally, the third big step. Le uh, go back to the normal editing mode. So here, select the end tool to apply some general uh, effects for the image. And in, in this third step, I I'm going to work with camera calibration and some color correction. So now select the HGSL and grayscale. Now here, select saturation. Now, what I'm going to do is increase the saturation of the colors. So uh, I should say of the warm colors. And it's a and it's a great option because I can work the saturation of each color individually. So let's increase the um, the reds. So set reds to five. Orange is set to ten. Yellow set to 5 as well, and the green set to 100, and to affect just the very first plan here. 
Okay, now move on to the camera calibration. Now here in shadows, let's give a little pin tone, increase, um, and for this parameter, I want to work with 20. Now for the red primary, in the U set to 20, uh, sorry, minus 5 to give a little purple tone, and for the saturation, 0. Now the green primary, uh, let's work with minus 5 for the U to give a, a little yellow tone, and for the saturation, 0 as well. And then now for the blue primary, <clears throat> let's set the U for minus 20 and the saturation set to 10. Okay, and, it, and now it looks perfect. I have an, uh, a new effect to apply, uh, the lens vignetting. I love this effect to, to give some depth on the image. It looks great. So increase the amount of, of this effect to minus 50. Okay, minus 50 looks great. And the midpoint to 25. Okay, and now it looks perfect. Now press done. And this is the before and after. Before and after. It looks great. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. <coughs> Please comment below with your opinion, with your suggestions, because again, your opinion is very, very important for me. And also subscribe my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash tractable2 to receive my last tutorials on YouTube. And you can and you can follow me on Twitter to receive all my new updates, twitter.com slash tractable2. I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching and see you soon.